make his offenses as calculated as possible and not to be too aggressive. He should use his jab to set the combinations and try as much as possible to not fight Canelo's fight. <laughs> Talking boxing. Hello, HTV boxing fans. It is fight week. Mexican and undisputed super middleweight champion Sal Canelo Alvarez will defend his undisputed crown against up and coming face of Mexican boxing, Jamie Mangua. This Saturday at the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Main event will begin approximately 11 p.m. Eastern in the United States and 4 a.m. in the UK. The event will be shown on Prime Video, The Zone, and PPV.com. Event is promoted by TGB Promotions. In this short video, I'll discuss the strengths and weaknesses of both fighters, my thoughts in, on this fight, the strategies I expect both fighters should be going with, and of course, my prediction. This is talking. Before I go on, please don't forget to leave your prediction below in the comment section. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if this is your first time on our YouTube channel. And follow if this is your first time on our Facebook channel. Let's talk briefly about Saul Canelo Alvarez. Canelo is coming in as the undisputed super middleweight champion with a record of 60 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. He's built himself a very impressive resume, taking down big names in the sport like the likes of um, Triple G, Callum Smith, and Amir Khan. He last fought in September of last year where he schooled Jamal Charlo and successfully defended his undisputed throne with a unanimous decision. What are his strengths coming in into this fight? Canelo has a lot of power. He has very good combination and also very high accuracy. He's also got some good head movement, high boxing IQ, and has a lot of experience from his 63 pro fight. He's proving his durability and toughness against some of the top dogs of the sport. Canelo can go the full distance without losing his sharp reflexes and power, and that might be all he needs to end the night. And finally, he's got the experience fighting high-level opponents like Mayweather. What are his weaknesses? Canelo is clearly on a decline if you watch his um, last fight with John Ryder and then with Charlo. You could see he's not as sharp as he used to be. You know, the man is growing and almost at uh, his in his uh, mid-30s. So you would expect something like that from this sport. Let's talk briefly about Jamie Aaron Mingua. Mingua is coming in with an undefeated record of 43 wins, with 34 of them coming by way of knockout. He last fought John Ryder in January of this year, where he defended his WBC Silver um, Super Middleweight title with a ninth round stoppage. What are his strengths coming in in this fight? He's got power as well. You can't knock out 34 opponents, mostly in the first half of the fight, without commanding some power in your gloves. You might argue that Mongoa is yet to take on the big guns, but I mean he still faced some formidable opponents in the past. He's got good aggression in the ring, which allows him to press his opponents till he's able to break them down. He's young, durable, and has demonstrated pretty steady chain as well. What are his weaknesses? Mongoa's defenses could do with some improvement. He sometimes leaves openings when he goes for the attack. You may have a solid chain, but you're going to take some damage if you walk straight into a shot. Now, my thoughts on this fight. I think this is one of the fights that almost never happened, especially after Canelo announced that his next opponent was going to be an American. A lot of boxing fans were eyeing a super clash with David Benavidez, but then in the last minute, we heard Canelo was kind of um, going back on his word to fight his Mexican brother, if you may. Anyways, it's here now, and I expect it to be entertaining, just to say the least. I expect Canelo to be the aggressor in this fight. Mungua is a slow um, starter, which should give Canelo a head start to assert his dominance and get his game going. I expect Canelo to fight from the um, inside and unleash a heavy load of body shots on Mungua. Canelo has a very uh, high ring IQ and knows how to adjust his game plan. So I, I am expecting him to take Mungua by surprise, 
poke holes into his game plan and exploit those holes. I expect Munguato to use his jabs to keep Canelo at bay, keep it smart and simple, and not try to trade shots with Canelo. It's true Mungua has power, but Canelo has taken some good shots and still kept it together to get to win. So Mungua will be risking a lot trying to trade shot for shot with um, Canelo. I think Mungua's best bet is to, um, to defeating Canelo will be to fight from the outside, make his offenses as calculated as possible and not to be too aggressive. He should use his jab to set the combinations and try as much as possible to not not fight Canelo's fight. If he's able to do that effectively, he should be able to win Canelo down and overpower him in the later rounds. I've seen a lot of people calling this a mismatch and writing Mungua off completely, but I think he has a good chance to pull an upset on Canelo in this fight. Canelo is um, is clearly on the decline, as I said earlier, and I will say on paper, Canelo is not really too far in terms of skill compared to Mungua, apart from the experience and the type of boxes Canelo fought. Mungua is younger though and should be able to maintain his stamina, especially in the late rounds. Now to my prediction, I think Mungua has a good chance in this fight with his youthfulness, power and aggressiveness, but I still think Canelo Alvarez schools Mungua any day. I'm going with a decision for Canelo in this fight, even though I won't be too surprised to see a knockout. That's my prediction. I'm the Boxing Doc, and this is Talking Boxing.